Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. So what am I doing with a syringe in my workshop? Well, I thought I would plump up my lips a little bit. I heard that's the new in thing. You're right. You guys are lucky I even put lipstick on for this little video. To my 16 subscribers that I have thus far, thank you, thank you very much. You know that I love you if I put on some sparkly lip gloss for the event. So anyways, I wanna share with you guys, seriously now, um, a helpful hint in the workshop when it comes to repairing veneer on furniture, and it all centers around this syringe. So back behind me, I hope you can see it, I have an antique vanity that I picked up from my local Goodwill. And I noticed on the top there was some veneer damage. And when I first started out restoring furniture, I probably would have passed up this piece just because I was unfamiliar with how do you repair veneer? How do you do it correctly? Um, so with this particular piece, I noticed two things that needed repair on the top. Um, the first, I noticed there were some nicks out of the veneer around the edging, just little areas. And so what I did is I filled those with a product called Timbermate. It is a water-based wood filler, and this actually comes in all these different colors to match your wood. And I got walnut in this particular case. That's what it looks like. That's the color. And so I went around and I filled up uh, those nicks. My hope fingers crossed. My hope with this piece is that I'm able to um, sand it after that wood filler has um, dried and I want to stain it a dark java color um, and I'm going to use it um, dark java gel stain by general finishes. If you have not used that stain, it is my favorite favorite stain. It's awesome stuff. Um, just gives her a really nice dark rich color. So I'm hoping it's gonna match up with that wood filler and it's all gonna look cohesive. So I'm hoping that will be the plan for this piece. Uh, then I also um, noticed along the edging that the veneer is lifting. Now, on a lot of these old pieces that you run across with veneer, you will find if the, if the drawer fronts have some veneer and they do on this piece as well, um, I noticed in some spots along um, the edging of the drawers, the veneer is also lifting there as well. So I'm gonna to have to hit that with some glue and clamp it. Um, so what I'm gonna do on this particular piece on the top where the veneer is lifting, this is where the syringe comes into play. I filled the syringe with some wood glue. I like this glue, tight bond. And I filled the syringe with the glue. You can see that there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along the edges where that veneer is lifting and I'm going to stick that syringe in as far as I can go and I'm going to shoot that glue in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a piece of wax paper along the edge where I inserted the glue and I'm going to clamp it and let it sit overnight. The reason why I put down wax paper, it just uh, provides a barrier so the clamp doesn't get glued to the top of my piece of furniture because all that glue, some of it's gonna seep out and so I don't want it being glued to my clamp. So I'm gonna move the camera and I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys are gonna get a good angle of where you can see where that damage is and then how you see how I insert that glue with my nifty syringe. So I'm gonna move the camera down here. You can see this beautiful piece of furniture that I picked up. Isn't she gorgeous? So I um, removed that top drawer right here that's where the bulk of the damage is. You can see it right here. I can actually lift it with my nail, the damage right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that syringe and I'm gonna put it right in there. You can see that needle's just gonna go in there. This is a really fine needle. Um, I got it at my woodworking store. It's a 20 gauge. There's different gauges that you can use. I had to get the air bubbles out. Yep, and I can see that glue is filling in nicely. So I'm gonna lift it up in another spot. Put that needle in. Get that glue in there as far as I can get it. Really fill up this area so it'll be completely flattened. My dog Biscuit is at my heels right now. Aren't you, buddy? 
And I'm lifting that. Ooh, look at that. Look how far my needle went on that piece. It really went in. And I can see that glue filling up back in there. And here it comes. It's going to seep out a little bit. And I'm going to keep moving along, keep lifting. Wow, it's really going back in there. And this is just a great way to ensure you're really going to get that veneer glued down nice and tight and that it's not going to lift anymore. I feel like I'm injecting Botox in this piece. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of what we're doing. We're giving the piece of furniture a facelift. Granted, I don't have the credentials to be a doctor or a nurse, but it's kind of like that. We're kind of like plastic surgeons. We're making these pieces beautiful again. Okay. Wow, this really took a lot of glue. That's good, we're really getting it in there. Okay, I'm gonna keep pulling. I think it ends right here. So my damaged area goes from the, the width of that whole front drawer from here to the edge. And can you see all that glue seeping out now? That's what we want. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna push that down a little bit with my fingers. Can you see it? There comes that glue. And yes, I'm gonna take wet wipes. That's what I use in my workshop. I'm a mom, I always have wet wipes in my car, in every room in my house. And yeah, I have them in my workshop too. Don't judge. So I'm just gonna wipe that edge from that glue that's already seeping out. I'm gonna lay down that wax paper and I'm gonna clamp this table. It's not actually a table, it's a vanity. I'm gonna set my clamps down. And I'm gonna let this sit overnight. And we are gonna have a fixed top here. Pretty excited about this piece. Um, this is a custom order. Even though I got the piece, um, a woman expressed interest in it. And so I'm fixing this up for her. I'm very excited to get started on this piece. Like I said, this vanity has a matching mirror and then I'll also be restoring a chair for her as well. Woo! Boy, the glue is coming out on that clamp. Nice. All right. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, it's just a little tip on how to fix uh, lifting veneer on your furniture. So like and subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please. I only have 16 subscribers, and I know I just started on YouTube, but I love to have more people follow. Um, again, I believe my subscribe button is off to the left right there. And um, I hope you guys liked the helpful hint on how to fix lifting veneer, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks.